Okay, so I'm just going to use a uh, spray bomb. Of uh, lacquer here, which doesn't have all that much in it, and may not have enough for Well, uh, I almost forgot to turn the camera back on. So, I elected to leave it mounted on the lathe and I sprayed a couple of coats of lacquer on both the front and the back. And now I'm, this is the next day, and I'm starting to part it off. So I just used a parting tool. And went in and then very gingerly made the, the last cut so that I was cutting both on the uh, glue block and the underside very slightly dished. But I'm going to be sanding this off the lathe anyway. Or I'll mount a two inch disc in a Jacobs chuck in the headstock to sand the bottom of that. But I don't think I want to part it completely off. I'm going to leave it at that and then saw it off. So I will, uh, I'm out of Jacob's Chuck in here now. Okay, the Velcro on this disc is not in the best of shape, but hopefully it will let me get that sanded. So since I've got that stub to sand off, I'm going to start with 120 grit.
And there it is. Uh, I'll just sign my name on the bottom there, and uh, then I'll spray a couple of coats of lacquer. I do have a feeling that the solvents in the lacquer, I'm going to let that ink dry for a while before I spray any uh, finish on there because the solvents in the lacquer may make the writing go fuzzy if I do it before the ink's dry and maybe even after the ink's dry but we'll find that out when I try it. So there you go. Banana bowl, angel wing, whatever you like to call them. Out of a Banksia pod. For the Woodturner's Resource Challenge and Trade. Thank you for watching.